um, quite a bit of uh, comedy so far, um, and um, so we kind of tricked tricked you into thinking that um, it's going to be all laughs. Well, it's not because <laughs> I'm here now, and um, that yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to um, completely change the mood and uh, this first poem that I'm going to do is uh, a lot of this uh, set that I'm going to do is um, about uh, sexuality and um, sex in general and this first one is kind of um, can you give me a cheer if um, you've heard of vaginismus a few people, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was saying the other day that there's actually, um, there's been a couple of shows about the topic and, uh, uh, yeah, there's one at the moment, uh, there's a play called, um, uh, I'm always thinking I'm going to forget the title, it's called, um, it's quite a long title, it's, uh, Have I Told You I'm Writing a Play About My Vagina? Um, so I saw that and I recommend it, especially if you've, had any like similar experiences with vaginismus. Um, if you don't know what it is, you might get some kind of idea of what it is through this poem. It's called Total Eclipse. Before my first time, I was cut on the surgeon's table. I was a total eclipse, a moon of flesh darkening those days when I didn't know how to measure the distance between friendships. And I thought I wanted them when I just wanted to be loved, just liked how small I felt against his chest. I thought the sun would shine more once the bleeding stopped, but mostly I slept stretched diagonally in my double bed, only occasionally visitors invited in. Even years later, I still feel the pain, need smooth liquid to ease it, better tease it, so that I'm hard to please and full of apologies, on my knees, wishing I could be selfish. A gynocentric narrative, where the moon never casts shadow over my light. Night and day, I am meant to dilate myself with glass or plastic objects, but it makes the act feel clinical. The doctor prescribed me a glass of wine. I don't know how to relax when it all feels so detached. I found the climax comes from the clitoris, something more likely picked up from magazines than from classrooms, as if orgasms were drugs we should say no to. After the cut, they didn't follow it up, and so I used alcohol as lubricant, lost my inhibitions along with my memory, and when sober, my mind is so occupied with dysmorphia and dates and things to do that this bed becomes a war zone. He says to relax, to focus on me, but in these sheets I make him my protagonist, cover my stomach with my arms, squeeze my shape into something more suitable, begin to envy his body. Thank you.